hello everyone welcome to the yarn board today in this video i'm gonna show you how to crochet these two fun spring patterns the spring fling headband and spring fling coffee cup cosy using line brands mandalai ombre yarn which is a very nice soft yarn and the color schemes are wonderful for spring time if you want a written pattern of this headband and cup cosy you can find it in our website theyarnboldcrochet.com Meanwhile, if you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So for this project, I'll be using this line brand mandala ombre yarn and uh, i really like the color uh, pattern of this yarn and how soft it is and uh, this yarn is about 344 yards and the color scheme is tranquil and uh, come on let's see how to crochet the headband first so i'll be using six millimeter false crochet hook to make this project and uh, starting row one I'm gonna work a slip knot and then I'll go ahead work 14 chains so work 14 chains So once you've worked 14 chains, I'm going to go ahead, insert my hook on the second chain from the hook and then I will work a slip stitch. And in the next chain, I'm going to work one half double crochet. And in the next chain, I'm going to work one slip stitch. So and in the next chain, I'm going to work one half double crochet so i'm gonna alternate between slip stitch in one chain and half double crochet in the next chain till the end so work one slip stitch in one chain and then one half double crochet in the next chain till the end and in the last chain we will work a slip stitch and finish so if you look at our work the starting and end chains we'll always work a slip stitch so continue working in this way till the end So here I am just before my last chain and uh, as I told you earlier I'm going to work one slip stitch on my last chain. So with this our row 1 is now complete. Let's proceed with row 2. For row 2 I'm going to work a chain 1 and then turn my work and these half double crochets create little bumps and in the first stitch as we've discussed already we're gonna work a slip stitch and in the next stitch I'm gonna work one half double crochet and in the next stitch I'm gonna work a slip stitch and then in the next stitch I'm gonna work one half double crochet so I'm gonna alternate between one half double crochet in one stitch and one slip stitch in the next stitch till the end and our first and last stitch always is a slip stitch so continue working like this till the end i'll meet you at the end of this row So 
So here we are uh, just before the last stitch. I'm going to work uh, one slip stitch on my last stitch. S then we've worked our row 2 and then we'll go ahead work row 3. From row 3 to row 74 we are just going to repeat row 2 which will be working chain one turn and then working one slip stitch on my first stitch one half double crochet on the next stitch and then alternating between slip stitch in one stitch and half double crochet on the next stitch till the end and then in the last stitch I'm gonna work one slip stitch and finish off the row then work a chain one turn and repeat all of this again so keep working row two until you reach row number 74 so i'll meet you at the end of row number 74 So here we are at the end of row number 74 and uh, this is how our work looks like and uh, working half double crochet and uh, slip stitches has created a beautiful texture. So if you see I have worked uh, roughly about 18 uh, inches for this headband and that's enough for uh, my uh, head and um, this is for an adult size so basically an adult size uh, falls between 18 to 20 inches so if you need uh, um, more uh, length just uh, wrap around your head and check and uh, it should always fall between 18 to 20 inches for me 18 inches was sufficient so I'm ending um, in row 74 if you need a couple of rows for your uh, the circumference of your head you can go ahead work few more rows so normally it falls between 18 to 20 inches for an adult size so what I'm working here is for an adult size so then once I finish my row number 74 I work a slip stitch and leave a long tail for uh, sewing and um, there's no right and wrong side for this mm, headband because uh, uh, this is a reversible pattern so you can uh, hold any side and then uh, gently fold uh, both the ends like um, I show you in this video hold them tight and then what we are gonna do is sew them together so fold them like this place them as I as I'm showing you and then we've attached our needle to the long uh, tail of our yarn which we have not uh, snipped off and then I'm gonna hold them tight and then sew all of these together
so once you have sewed in you can snip off your uh, extra yarn and then you can turn your work inside out like this this should create a beautiful twist for your headband and it looks like a twisted headband so and the pattern also gives a great texture which looks wonderful so I bought these handmade tags from Amazon um, you can add them uh, which will give a very nice look for your uh, headband you can also buy these uh, custom leather tags from Etsy or Amazon that will also look good so I'm in a process of getting one so for now I had this um, handmade tags I'll be using them so this is totally optional if you don't want to add this it's totally uh, up to you you can completely avoid adding any tags at all so so in your tags and then snip off your uh, yarn once you've knotted them up So here is our uh, beautiful spring fling headband made in few minutes and it's a wonderful spring gift idea. You can work this project very quickly. So try this project at home and uh, you can let me know your comments. So now the headband is done. We'll see how to crochet the same pattern for a coffee cup cosy. So the pattern remains same. We're going to work exactly same what we did for the headband. So for uh, I'm still using my six millimeter crochet hook, and then I will be working a slip knot, and then work fourteen chains, and then do exactly what we did earlier. But only thing is, the number of row, the row count, differs for your cup cosy. We'll reduce the number of row counts. So we are going to stop at row thirty seven for our cup cosy. The rest is same what we did for the headband. So I'm going to work um, a chain of 14 first and then once you've worked 14 chains I'm going to go ahead work one slip stitch on the second chain from the hook and then work one half double crochet on the next chain and then alternate between one slip stitch on one chain and one half double crochet on the next chain till the end the starting and ending chains we're going to work slip stitch so continue working like this till the end i'll meet you at the end of this row So I'm going to work one slip stitch at the end chain that's the last chain and then I'm going to finish my row one so let's go ahead proceed with row two For that I'm going to work a chain one turn my work and then I'm going to work one slip stitch on my first stitch and then I'll go ahead work one half double crochet on my next stitch so I'm going to alternate between one slip stitch on the next stitch and one half double crochet on the next stitch till the end and then I will work one slip stitch on my last stitch. So as I told you earlier we're going to work slip stitches on starting and ending stitches for every row. So continue working like this I'll meet you at the end of this row.
So I work this slip stitch for row 2 and then I am going to work a chain 1 turn and then repeat row 2 till we reach row number 37. So we are going to stop right at uh, row 37 for our coffee cup cosy and uh, and then we are going to do the uh, work exactly the same way that we have done for our headband. So continue working like this around till we reach row number 37. So I'll meet you at the end of row 37. So here we are at the end of row 37. So uh, as we've done uh, before for our headband, I'm going to leave a long tail for sewing and then I'll cut my yarn after wo I've worked the slip stitch and then I'll attach the long tail of my yarn to a tapestry needle and then uh, hold uh, both the ends of my work uh, like we've done before, fold them and then hold them like as I uh, show you in this video and then sew them together and then turn your work inside out. Now it's time to turn your work inside out and our cute little coffee cup cosy with the twisted front is now ready and the yarn itself is nice stretchy elastic and gives the elastic feel and super soft and uh, our coffee cup cosy is now ready. You can also attach your handmade ta tag. Um, if you wish to the cup cosy as well and I'm gonna sew them right here so our coffee cup cosy is ready and uh, I'm just uh, placing this cup cosy in a nice professional cup cosy template that I have so if you are gifting, these are the options that you can use. You can find these templates uh, in Pinterest and you can use them for your projects. Looks very nice and cute when placed on a template and gifted. And uh, I've also uh, had a template for my headband as well. So it gives a very nice uh, good display look. So I'm going to display them like this and if you can also gift uh, them this way which gives a very nice and wonderful look I hope you enjoyed this uh, fun uh, easy pattern it's a very beginner friendly pattern as well and even beginners can try this pattern it will come out very well do try this and let me know your comments and uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial with me and um, find a yarn that is fun to work with and you can work this project and let me know your comments please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well find the pattern of this headband and cup cosy in our website theyarnbowlcrochet.com
Thanks for watching.